excess tax is inching closer to now becoming a reality. The government is upbeat about the passage of the landmark tax legislation after making three crucial changes to the constitutional amendment bill. Now here are the top five developments of the day. At the top, CNBC TV 18 learns that the Congress party and the BJP will meet on Monday to iron out differences on the bill. Number two, the Congress is claiming victory over the abolition of the 1% manufacturing tax. However, the GST rate will not be made part of the Constitution. Instead, the government is likely to mention the rate in the GST bill, hoping to get the Congress on board. Regional heavyweights like the AIADMK and the BSP will play a crucial role. In fact, speaking exclusively to CNBC TV 18, party spokesperson of the AIADMK said that seven of their ten concerns have now been addressed. One of the main concerns of manufacturing states like Tamil Nadu and Gujarat was compensation. The cabinet yesterday has agreed to provide full compensation for losses that will incur over the first five years after the GST rolled out. And finally, there is still no decision on doing away with the dual control structure for a turnover of less than 1.5 crores. Majority of the states opposed this at the meeting held earlier. Sources tell us the government is not ready to give in just yet. Ritu Parnabhuyan has been tracking all the developments inside Parliament. Ritu, take us to what transpired today. A day after the cabinet passed the 122nd constitutional amendment bill, which is related to GST, the million dollar question that's been asked here in parliament is, when will this crucial legislation be listed for discussion? According to the chairman of the select panel on GST, the entire country is waiting for GST to be implemented. And that's because once GST is implemented, it will hugely improve India's ease of doing business. We are at the stage of the constitutional amendment. Right. Once, for, once constitutional amendment, amendment uh, will be approved by the parliament, right. after that the GST bill will come right. and these all things will be considered at that time. Right. So right. as of now there is no need to basically you know, uh, talk at about R&R &R &R and... At this time there is need for a consensus for GST right. and government is doing hard. And you see that coming for consensus? Uh, definitely we hope because country is waiting for GST. Right. To get this bill passed, the support of Congress and the left parties will be crucial and that's because between both these parties, there are 69 MPs in the Rajya Sabha. These are the architects of GST, so we actually had no reason or agenda not to pass the bill in Parliament. This is something that we have been saying as members of Parliament. We've always said we'll pass, but the but was in favour of the people. The concessions that we required is for the states, which in turn benefit the people. While the government is talking to principal opposition parties, it's also talking to regional parties, many of whom actually support GST. However, AIDMK is still not on board, but we understand that government is trying to talk to this party and that's because its support will be crucial to get the GST constitutional amendment bill passed in the Rajya Sabha. Our concern is how to uh, safeguard uh, the interests of the state. The powers of the state government, how to maintain a proper centre-state uh, re relation as far as uh, taxation is concerned. If uh, the, the minister comes out with some uh, uh, acceptable uh, arrangement, let us see. Yeah, he is talking to us informally. Paul is in the government's court. The principal opposition is the uh, uh, Congress party. Mm -hmm. I can only appeal to both the Congress and the BJP to stop playing ping pong right. and to get this bill passed. Right, sir. So, you know, there is a constitution. And there is an issue uh -huh. of the 1.5 crores and 3 crores that yes. has been sorted out. So, yes. below 1.5 crores will be under the autonomy of the states, not center. That is, has come from our state yes. and everyone else has agreed. So, so, sir, so, this is actually a very important point that you are making. So, do you see that 1.5 crore uh, dual control provision no, no, being there is no question it has to happen. 1.5 crore below is state's control. With the GST, the state governments will lose the only, only right they have to raise revenues. That is the state sale tax. The state governments, hands are tied, they cannot raise resources. So then, this is our serious concern which I convey to the finance minister today. Either you reduce state governments to come with a begging bowl to the center, or you just do not provide relief to the people. The government will come with its own bill. So, we are in the first place of GST. Yes. 
सो आप एज ए सीनियर पार्लियामेंट्रियन आप देखते हैं कि क्या सरकार अपना नंबर्स बना पाएगी आर यू कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ दैट सर नहीं नहीं अभी तो वो बिल तभी लाएंगे ना सबके साथ सहमति हो जाएगी Well, that's the entire political spectrum there telling you what they make of the negotiations as far as the GST is concerned. And top Congress sources telling us that the GST talks are moving in the right direction. In fact, going as far as to say that a lot of ground has indeed been covered. Remember, there is now a crucial meeting between the government and the Congress party on Monday. Now, to discuss this further, uh, we are joined by Rajiv Sabha MP and the member of the Parliamentary Committee on the GST, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, also with us, the spokesperson of the AIADMK. Mr. K. Pandya Rajan. Mr. Pandya Rajan, you've heard what all other political parties have had to say today. Uh, all eyes now on the AIADMK. Uh, have you been able to have any conversation with your party leadership on the position that you're now likely to take, sir? Has the government made any fresh uh, engagement or efforts to reach out to you? Mr. Pandey Rajan, can you hear me? Well, we'll fix that in just a second, but let me go across to Rajiv Chandrasekhar. Uh, Rajiv, uh, you've spent the day in Parliament listening to all political parties, and it certainly seems that hope is clearly in the air. Momentum seems to be building up. In fact, there was uh, talk of the possibility of the bill being taken up tomorrow itself, but now we understand that there's another crucial meeting on Monday between the Congress and the government. Do you think that this is now a done deal that's going to go through in this session? No, I, I'm, I'm not so sure it's a done deal. It's not done till it's done. Uh, considering that the last three sessions of Parliament, uh, Shreen, I've been on your channel saying it's done, it's done, it's done. So I'm, I'm going to hold my breath till it's done. But I think uh, there is a cause to be uh, optimistic, uh, given um, the meeting with the Empowered Committee of Finance Ministers two days ago and yesterday's Cabinet approval of the modified um, GST constitutional amendment. So I think uh, we are looking to uh, bridging the gap between the Congress and the other political parties and the government. And I'm hopeful that on Monday we will see the bill introduced. Uh, Rajiv, you know, you've had conversations with the finance minister. The finance minister also briefed leaders of the left party, uh, also the TMC, etc. What is the sense that you get now in terms of the issues that continue to remain unaddressed? Because a lot of, uh, for instance, the 1% manufacturing tax has been done away with. I think there is now a clear consensus that the rate itself will not be part of the constitutional bill. Uh, what do you think remains unaddressed at this point in time? I, 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 I really don't uh, think there is anything unaddressed because the three fundamental issues that were uh, out there uh, post the last session of parliament have been to a large extent addressed by the uh, cabinet approvals of yesterday and the empowered committee meeting with the finance minister two days ago. Um, the, the concern that the GST bill will be um, in a sense uh, a high tax has been addressed by saying that it will be moderate in nature and that if there is a need for a specific wording of that, it can find its place in the GST Act that the parliament uh, has to pass and the state legislatures have to pass. So I think the three fundamental issues of dispute resolution, the cascading effect of the 1% tax, and mm. the desire for this tax not to be anti-consumer and anti-small business have all been, in a, in a sense, squarely taken on and addressed. Okay. Uh, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. It's not done till it's done, but there is significant momentum that is built over the last 24 hours now, and uh, most people seem confident of the bill going through in this session. Mr. Pandey Rajan, a lot will depend on the position that your party decides to take, sir. Have you had any conversation with your party leadership? What is the AIADMK's position now on the GST bill? See, as I said, uh, the three key decisions that the cabinet has taken yesterday are steps in the right direction. But as far as we are concerned as an origin state, in fact, uh, the gap between what we produce and what we consume is the highest in Tamil Nadu. We consume mm. uh, hardly 50% of what we produce. And 
the impact of uh, GST in terms of the loss of uh, revenue for us uh, is the highest among all the states. If you take these four origin hmm. states, uh, Karnataka, uh, you have uh, Maharashtra, Gujarat, and Tamil Nadu. No, I, I Tamil get Nadu, that, sir. Uh, I get that. The has there been any, has there been any the fresh outreach from the done? government? Yeah. Has there been any fresh outreach from the government? Uh, uh, has the finance minister reached out to uh, your party leader to try and convince you and allay some of your apprehensions over the last 24 hours? Uh, not really, but I think uh, during the, conf the meeting of the uh, Empowered Committee, uh, there have been some move towards uh, spelling out the principles by which this compensation would get arrived at. But I think for us the key okay. is the nature of the GST Council, now that this will be the council which will decide on the compensation, and um, the mm -hmm. constitution and uh, the voting rights for... Uh, a state like Tamil Nadu has been a great concern for us. We don't want to be seen as uh, all states being equal in this particular thing mm. with the center holding a veto right, which is what the current uh, constitution is. We'd like to see 75% weightage given to the states. But and, there are no changes uh, that are being proposed uh, voting, there, sir. Uh, the the, the three changes that the government proposed have already been adopted by the cabinet and now will be taken to parliament as and when the bill goes to parliament. So they don't intend making any changes as far as the council, the GST council's composition is concerned, so it seems. Which is our great concern. I don't think, uh, you know, we can allow this, you know, uh, rights of Tamil Nadu to suffer. And if uh, they're going to push through the bill uh, to pass it somehow, you will actually penalize a state like Tamil Nadu, which will stand to lose almost 9,270 crores by way uh, per year. And it's a per loss in perpetuity. And I don't think sure. you can do a constitutional amendment uh, pushing it down the throat of one state which has been contributing 10% of your GDP. I don't think that's going to happen. Right. So there's some distance to go before the central government really reaches out to us both in terms of constitution and the rights of the GST council members and in terms of the principles by which the compensation will get worked out. You know, we've got a number of 110,000 crores which uh, has been right. presented in this uh, conference as the potential compensation to be paid out and uh, including the central government which will need to be paid a compensation. This is what we were understood. Okay. We, we okay. understood from All right. this conference. Uh, Rajiv, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, do you to, believe to you, mind, you're listening to Mr. You're listening to Mr. Pandya Rajan. Uh, do you believe that we can expect any changes uh, or any way in which the government can address some of the, the issues that Mr. Pandya Rajan has raised there on behalf of the AIADMK? No, I think, uh, Shireen, the way this process will work now is given that the cabinet has approved uh, a bill yesterday that uh, after discussions with the various political parties, the government will introduce it in the House on Monday or Tuesday, depending on when they believe uh, they have the support. And then there will be a debate. And I think some of these issues that uh, uh, my colleague from the AIDMK is raising are probably going to be debated there. And then it is an opportunity for the government to clarify whether those issues are to be addressed through amendments or they are to be addressed by uh, the government giving assurances or clarifications as the case may be. Uh, this is a constitutional amendment and, and, and legitimately political parties are going to raise questions and doubts and concerns, including the serious doubt about uh, what happens to the fiscal buoyancy and the fiscal uh, let us say, independence of states in our federal system. Mm. Mm. And that is what Mr. Pandirajan is re referring to. And I think that is what, where the finance minister will respond to these kinds of doubts and queries in parliament during the debate. So, I mean, I, 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 I am not particularly concerned about that aspect of it because I think that is something that will be taken care of and discussed and addressed either through an amendment or, or any, any, any other way during a debate. I am looking forward to the bill being introduced back introduced, with some yeah. amount of political momentum and the process of legislation which is the debate to commence. Uh, final question to you, Mr. Pandya Rajan, before I let you go. Uh, you know, we've been having uh, several conversations over the last 24 hours. Do you feel more confident of being able to support the bill today than you were yesterday? Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, yeah, one more of these uh, issues we've addressed have been clarified, especially the issue relating to 
uh, what was just mentioned about this 1% uh, manufacturing tax going away. Uh, and to that extent, Well, we seem to have lost that line there with uh, Mr. Pandey Rajan, but that is the sum and substance. We now need to wait for Monday. Uh, that is when the next meeting between the Congress and the BJP will take place, and perhaps we will see the government move the bill for uh, tabling and discussion uh, on Monday or Tuesday. A quick reaction also from the Congress party. Priyanka Chaturvedi, spokesperson, joins us. Uh, Ms. Chaturvedi, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. We understand uh, from senior Congress sources uh, that uh, they believe that negotiations are moving in the right direction. Uh, do you feel that uh, on the back of the changes that have been proposed by the government, the Congress is now willing to extend its support to the GST bill? Uh, I'm sorry, is that the question uh, directed at me? Yes, it is. Okay, so a couple of things, uh, you know, uh, how the government has acted ever since they tried, the, uh, you know, passing the GST bill without the changes, without wanting discussions, without wanting debates, without even having to listen to what the opposition has to say. Our point of view on, on three particular issues was something that we had been talking about, which even uh, the chief economic advisor to the prime minister had spoken about. But yet you had a government which is not willing to listen uh, to these issues at all. And which would finally have an impact on uh, the you know people who are going to be paying for uh, paying these indirect taxes. So as much as we want the GST to pass, because this is a, a, a bill that we introduced in the parliament, which got blocked for the past seven years, we would want yes. that all the three points that we have put across to be handled by the government or commitments shown by the government that they would ensure that these three particular one, issues one are handled. Has, one has already appropriately yes. been handled. Yes. The 1% one one manufacturing tax has been done one away with. One has been handled. The second bigger issue is uh, about a cap on the amount of the, uh, taxes that you uh, Which can, again, you know, they've said that, they, that even the empowered state FMs panel said that there will so, be no capping of the rate as part of the constitutional amendment bill. It will be addressed separately. So absolutely. So this is where you, when you want to engage in a dialogue, when you want to engage with an opposition in a democracy, and when you realize that, demo, uh, that the opposition has some valid concerns, the concerns which could probably, uh, you know, have impact on millions in the country. So that, uh, that is why I think the government has realized uh, their issues and they've realized that these are genuine concerns which they needed to address. They have come halfway. We would expect them to honor these commitments that they are making right now, uh, whether it is in a haste to pass the GST bill or whether it is uh, uh, a commitment that they believe, so, uh, you know, uh, holds ground. So having said that, if so a Ms. government... So, Mr. Chaturvedi, what should we expect on Monday then from that meeting between the government and the Congress party? Well, if the government has come halfway through to what we are saying, there's no way would we, we would want to block something uh, as important as the GST. We would not be, we have never been obstructionist. We have been continuing okay. to talk on three issues. And if these three issues are being handled by the government, we would, uh, uh, you know, cooperate with the government as far as these issues are addressed. All right, that's good to hear. Priyanka Chaturvedi, spokesperson of the Congress Party, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. As we've been pointing out, a note of conciliation there, and it seems like our senior Congress Party leaders also suggest that uh, talks and negotiations are moving in the right direction. Well, uh, that is it as far as the GST is concerned.